Hi, this is Inval Nation YouTube channel. This is part two. In the part one, we have created a Spring Boot service which has a REST endpoint that communicates to AWS serverless services such as S3 and then DynamoDB and then the SQS queue. And now we will create a local stack Docker container and then we will be utilizing the Terraform to deploy the resources to the local stack and then we will test this application in our local. So for that first I will go to the resources package. So here in the resources package I will create a new folder named infrastructure. I will create a docker compose file. So I have already created this docker compose file. So I will copy and paste I and mean, I will go overview on what it is. So file and this file is docker compose. So here we are utilizing the local stack image and this is coming from local stack and I am utilizing the latest version and then the container name is local stack and I am using the ports 4566 and other ports for different services which is used in the local stack and then I am using the host name as local stack and here I have defined the region as US East 1 and then here I have provided the access key and the secret key as test and test. If you all remember, I have created this application.yaml in our part 1 video where I have defined the same username and password. So here also I am defining the same username and password. The services which I am going to specifically use. So the services are S3, DynamoDB and then the SQS. Now we will define the Terraform. So this Terraform we will be utilizing to deploy the services. So if you are new to Terraform, I have a complete video series on Terraform and I also have a quick refresher on different blogs available in the Terraform. So here I will create this file and I will name this as main.tf. The tf extension is to say this is a Terraform file. And then here we will be utilizing the provider block here and then the provider is AWS. We will be defining the region. So the region we have provided as US East 1 in the spring application.yaml and then we also provided the same US East 1 in the Docker Compose file. So I'm sticking to the same region. And then access key is the test. The secret key is test using the skip credential validation because this is my local. Skip metadata API check. And this is true here. And then skip requesting account ID true yes3 use path style true and then we will define the endpoints so here in this case we have utilized the three serverless services from AWS so I will define all these endpoints here I'm gonna use the local stack URA so I will be using the same localhost 4566 copy this particular URA yes us equal to Paste this URA again and then DynamoDB and then paste this URA again. Created the provider block. Next we will create the resource block. First we will start by creating the resource block for S3 bucket. So resource is AWS S3 bucket. So this is a predefined name and we will define the name for this resource as book underscore bucket for this particular resource I'm just going to use the bucket name so bucket name equal to book bucket this is what we have provided in the application.yaml so I'm sticking to the same bucket name here and then a resource and this is AWS S3 bucket ACL and I am just providing the name as S3 underscore bucket as the name and here the bucket name is coming from the resource so aws s3 bucket dot book bucket dot id so acl is public read write now we also define the s3 bucket policy so for s3 bucket policy i already created a json encode so i will copy and paste this so this s3 bucket policy is the resource name and then i am just giving the s3 bucket policy as this name for this particular resource block and then I am utilizing the AWS S3 book bucket dot ID as the bucket. And then we also have the policy. So here in this case, I'm just giving the policy get object. This will give the permission to get object. So now we are done with our uh, S3 bucket. Now we'll go back and create resource block for DynamoDB. 
first we will start with the resource and uh, the resource name is aws dynamo db table and then here are the name i will give it as book underscore table here i will name this table as book and then read capacity is 2 write capacity is just giving it as 5 and then hash key so the hash key is the primary key here so i already defined the hash key as uh, the id uh, which i have defined with a partition key annotation so the partition key and hash key are same here so, and the uh, attributes here and i'm just gonna give the attributes as name so here i just need to define only the attribute for my hash key so i will define the type of string so now we are done with the r the aws dynamo db resource uh, next we will create the sqs queue so resources aws underscore sqs underscore queue and then name is queue here and name is book queue so now we are done with the r uh, terraform so here we have created uh, three different resources one is for s3 and another one is dynamo db and another one is sqs queue now we will start with our deployment so go to the docker compose make sure you have the terraform installed in your windows and then docker is running in your system i have already created a video tutorial on how to install docker and then how to install terraform so the prerequisite for this is you need to have just a working docker running in your system and then the terraform running in your system that's it go to terminal and uh, here in, we are in the book service I don't want to be in the book service. I just want to go to the resources. So here CD SRC CD main CD CD resources and then infrastructure and here we are in infrastructure. Once we are in infrastructure, enter the command docker compose up hyphen D. So hyphen D is used to run this in a detached mode so that you don't have the running logs in this particular terminal so once the docker containers are up then you can be able to execute the next command so that's why i am providing this hyphen d so this is how my docker desktop looks like so in the container i don't have any containers for now it will take time based on your internet speed because you need to download the image such as the local stack image and then it need to run this image in a container so it depends on your internet speed on your system performance so now we have a local stack container running once the container is running you can run our terraform so to run the terraform so first we need to initialize the terraform so to initialize the terraform enter the command terraform init so this will initialize the plugins so here we have provided the plugin as aws plugin and then once that is done once the terraform init is successful run terraform plan so now the terraform plan is successful here we are getting a just a warning this is because we haven't provided the account id that is fine because we are going to use the local stack so use terraform apply and add yes now we have created all the resources i have no sql workbench so you can download and install the no sql workbench so once you have installed the NoSQL log bench, click launch. So installing this is very trivial. I will post the link of this log bench in the description. You can download it from there and from there it is easy installation process. We need to enter the operation builder and here in the operation builder, I already added a local stack connection. So add connection here. DynamoDB local here. This is local host and then 4566 and then the connection name is local stack then connect and then you can open this and then you can able to see there is a table name book is created and the book table is empty so this will provide a nice way to really view what are the different data available in the book table we will explore what is there in this postman request so in the postman request we have the endpoint so that is localhost 8085 book service api and upload we have the endpoint as localhost 8085 book service api and then upload and then we have the image as a multi-part file so here we can upload the image we need to have this as image type 
by default it will be text you need to select the file and then click select files here i will upload the image and then here the isbn and then book name and then the author name i have provided all these values and then the book service api is the root level request mapping and then the upload is the post mapping so i have defined this as post mapping here so go back to the book service and then go to our uh, java code and here book service application run this book service application here here we need to add the at configuration properties scan configuration properties scan so once you have added the at configuration property scan that's when the application at properties will be enabled so now restart the book service application now application is successfully started now go back to the postman here and then click send so now we have successfully processed the data so now go to the workbench refresh click scan here now you should see an entry here and then you have book author name and then the image url you have here and then the isbn also you have here so now so if you click this control click this created a file and you have downloaded this file so if you change this extension to .jpg then you will get the file so now this file is really stored inside the s3 bucket and you have persisted that uri in the dynamodb we have seen how to test this spring boot application which is utilizing the aws serverless application and we have tested that using the local stack in our next video we will see how to utilize the test containers with the spring boot to create our integration test and we will be also utilizing the rest assured for api testing